Hello everyone! Today we are going to introduce the website Kahoot. They aim to build the world's leading learning community by connecting teachers, students, parents, and organizations. Also, it may help you make your lessons more entertaining. Let's find out how it works. This is the main page where you can find different sections such as Kahoot at school, Kahoot at work and Kahoot at home. We as teachers click on Kahoot at school. We can use Kahoot at school to introduce new topics, review content, reinforce knowledge, collect students' opinions, motivate teamwork, assign homework and so on. To do all of these and more, you will need an account. To create an account, click on sign up, then choose as a teacher. You have different options to sign in. Choose the suitable one for you. I chose sign up with an email. Then you should fill in the form. Once you enroll, you will be directed to the home page. In the home section, you can find the Kahoots you have already created and some information about your account, such as your team, the players of your Kahoots, and your interests. By adding your interests, you can help Kahoot team customize the Kahoots for you. In the Discover section, you can find some ready-made Kahoots or you can type the topic you would like to practice. For example, type simple present tense. Choose one of the games and click on the play button. You can play it either player versus player or team versus team. When you open the Kahoot game, you will be provided a code. In order to join the game, your students need to download the application and enter the code there. Later, we are going to introduce how students can use the application as well. On the navigation bar, there is a Kahoot section. In this section, you can find the Kahoots that you have already created. Also, once you click on the Schools of Awesome button, on the left side of the page, you will see a section that help you cooperate with the other schools, but unfortunately, this feature is not free. Under that button, there is a Favorites button there you can add some Kahoots to your favorites by clicking on the star shape. Thanks to this button, whenever you want, you can easily find and use them. Also, your friends and colleagues can share some Kahoots with you. In the Share it with me button, you can see them and you can make contributions to those Kahoots and play them with your students too. Thanks to the My Drafts button, while creating a Kahoot, even if it's not completed, you can save it as a draft and later on you can complete it. On the navigation bar, there is a Reports section. In this section, you can find the results of your students at the end of each game. Therefore, you can understand their progress. Also, you can see your progress as you play a Kahoot. Let's see how a Kahoot can be created. In the home section, you will see the create new button. Click on it. You will be directed to this page. On this page, you type a question and add answers for it. You can add image from image library or you can upload and you can add video as well. Let's add image from the library. There is a gallery of Kahoot itself. You can find the suitable image under the different categories. Now you add answers and choose the correct one or ones by just clicking on this icon. You can also set time limit for each question from here. 
Additionally, we give points to each question. The time and points can be arranged according to the difficulty of the question. To add new questions, we just click on Add Question button and it offers you two different options. Here you can create either multiple choice quiz question or true-false question. Let's create true-false. Write a statement here and choose the correct option, true or false. Upload an image from your computer. Repeat the procedure, correct option, time and point. Now let's create a question with a video. Click on YouTube link and paste the link of the video. You can select the time you want to show. Then click on Add button. Repeat the procedure, correct option, time and point. Lastly, there is another option that you can create Kahoots. Click on the Import from Spreadsheet button. Firstly, you need to download Kahoot template. You will see an Excel document. Here, you write your question. And then, you write the options to these places. You can also set time limit here. Finally, you write the number of the correct answer or answers. And then, you upload it. Your questions are ready, but you need to upload images on your own if you need to. And you also need to give points manually. One last thing is to add title and descriptions to your Kahoot. We advise you to write the subject of your Kahoot as a title and the level of the target students. You are ready to have fun with your students. <laughs> students need to download the app from either Play Store or App Store. After downloading, they need to follow a procedure. Choose as a student and enter your age. In that way, your students can join games and practice on their own. However, in order for students to create their Kahoots and keep track of them, they need to sign up. Click on the profile picture on the left of the screen simply. There are two buttons, sign up and login. The ones who have registered beforehand can click on login. But for the ones who will sign up for the first time, there are some steps to be completed. They can sign up in different ways. Let's sign up with email. Fill in the form. Now they can create their own Kahoots, can keep their favorite ones and can look at their reports on Kahoots. How to do these things? This is the home page where your students can find popular and thematic Kahoots. For example, it is Halloween time and there are Halloween Kahoots. It is similar to the teacher's way of creating Kahoots. Differently, this is the mobile version and for students. Students will just click on create button. Then they need to add a cover photo and a title for their Kahoot. Next, they will click on add question button. They have two options, quiz or true false. Let's create a quiz. Add a question and answers for it. An image can be added from camera, photos and image library. Also, a video can be added as well.
set time limit and add point for it. Don't forget to choose the correct option for the questions. Students are asked to type the game pin provided by their teacher. After that, they should write a nickname. And then they should click on OK Go button. So they're in the game and they can answer the questions. For Kahoot section, you have two subparts. The first one is called My Kahoots. You can see your Kahoots on this section. If you add a Kahoot to your favorites, you can see them at the favorites part too. On this section, you can see two things. The first one is the games you have played before. And the second one is the reports you get from the Kahoot's you host. That's all, have fun with Kahoot! <coughs> Hello everyone, today we are going to play Kahoot to revise our knowledge about lesson. So please open the application on your phones and enter the code that I will give you. Here is the code. Are you ready? So let's get started. Expert Mir Cut 77. Gizam, okay, come here. You are the winner. Congratulations. Thank you for your participation. Bye bye.